Maybe it is simply true that nice guys don't come first after all. Certainly that would be the easiest conclusion to reach about the united reign of old Gunnar Solskjaer. Nice guy. There is not much doubt with barely a bad word to be found among former teammates, rival managers or United fans eternally grateful for the greatest moment in their club's history. But a winner, as a player certainly but as a manager the tale of the tape after three years in the job would suggest not. Three years in the post has delivered no silverware and an expensively assembled team treading water at best. In theory Solskjaer should be exactly the sort of manager that players are willing to run through brick walls for, a decent, fair man who has never thrown them under the bus despite so many opportunities where he would have been fully justified in doing so. There have been many, not good enough for a club like this, plenty of, we have let down the fans, and more calls for, a reaction, than you can shake a stick at. There has been the, lowest point, in the job against Everton in April 2019, the, darkest day, against Liverpool at home this season. There has been a second place league finish, three semi-final defeats and an agonizing loss in the Europa League final. And there have been enough disorganized displays in 39 defeats in 167 games for it to feel like lessons have not been learned. Former teammate Rio Ferdinand broke ranks yesterday to suggest Ol should walk away from the job and hand the baton on. It was a significant shift for all that Solskjaer is unlikely to unilaterally break his own contract. But we have surely reached the point where there may be just one more spin of the wheel for the Norwegian. Defeat to Watford the other side of this international break could be the last straw. A new low even they lost the same fixture 2-0 the last time they played it in December 2019. But if they win that there is Villarreal away then Chelsea, Arsenal and then Crystal Palace and after them Young Boys at home on December 8 and then Norwich. One defeat in any of them could do it. Solskjaer has to go unbeaten through that run, to show consistency against the better teams particularly Chelsea and Arsenal, to show he has a plan and have his players run themselves into the ground for him. Anything less will surely not be good enough to see him in the job this Christmas.